morning, Grade 2 learners of the Division of Hawaiian City. Welcome to Bamboo Tele Escuela, live at DWND FM 88.5, CMD Cable Vision, and streaming live at DepEd Hawaiian City Facebook page. You are now with Teacher Jackie of Buduan Elementary School, and I'm glad to be your on air teacher. I hope you're all excited and willing to learn. As we start with our lesson, make sure that your materials in learning are all with you and that you are also in a convenient place so that you can focus and be undisrupted and you will be able to concentrate on our lesson and activities. Okay children, I'm sure that everyone is now ready. At the end of this virtual class, I'm expecting you to recognize the alphabets and words with middle E. All right, children, we are going to learn about recognizing the alphabets and words with middle E. To start with our lesson, let us write first the beginning or initial letter of each word on a sheet of paper or on your modules. See page 4 for this activity. I'll give you 3 minutes to accomplish this activity. Now read with me using your learning activity sheets. Number one, pen, pen, keg. Number two, jet, web, nest. And number three, bell, net, tent. Now kids, let's answer the following questions. Number one. How are the words similar? The answer is, they have the same middle sound. If we have the same answer, then you are correct. Now, let's go to question number two. What is their middle sound? If your answer is E, then you are again correct. Very good, children. As we learn, a word is made up of letters and in reading words, we have to sound out all the letters together. There are words that could be read or decoded by blending the sounds of the letters. For example, the word bell is made up of three letters. These are B, E, D. Each of the letters is represented by a sound. Letter B, the beginning letter, has the B sound. Letter D, the final or end letter, has the D sound. While letter E, being the middle letter, has the short E sound. I hope you're having a good time. Now, before we proceed to our lesson, let us sing first the alphabet rhyme. Now kids, sing with me the alphabet rhyme.
for guitar. G g guitar. H is for hat. H h h hat. I is for igloo. I i i i igloo. J is for juice. J j j juice. K is for kitten. Activity sheets. 
see module page 6 for this activity. You are given 3 minutes to do it. Great job, kids! Now, let's read your answers from number one. Letters following A are B, C, and D. Number two, letter E is followed by F, G, and H. And number three, letter J is followed by K, L, and M. Four, N is followed by letters N, Y, and G, and O. Five, Q is followed by R, S, and P. Good job, kids! I hope you did well in this activity. Now, we're ready on our guided activity 2. See your modules on page 7. The direction here is to write the missing letters of the Filipino alphabet. Again, I'll give you 3 minutes to work on it. Good luck! A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N, Y, N, G, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Kids, now you have mastered both the English and the Filipino alphabets. Are you still with me? I hope so because we are now on our last activity and this is Guided Assessment 2. Read with me the given rhyme and observe how the sounds of words end. Let's do it kids! Pen's Hand by Lizelle de Jesus Pen has a pet hen. The hen is in the den. Pen went to the den to feed his hen. He saw ten eggs in the nest. He called his brother Len to see the ten eggs. Great job, kids! You read very well the rhyme and you were able to recognize the word having middle E. Okay then, we're going to answer the questions following the rhyme we read. Number one, who has a pet? Your answer is Pen. Number two, what's his pet? Your answer should be a hen. Number three, 
How many eggs does the hen have? Your answer is 10. Number 4. Where is the hen? The answer is in the den. Very good children. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. Remember children, the English alphabet has 26 letters while the Filipino alphabet has 28 letters. There are two letters in the Filipino alphabet that are not present in the English alphabet. And these are NY and NG. Also, we have learned in this lesson some words having medial E. You are given independent activities which you will accomplish. Keep all your activity sheets intact and I will be collecting these from you on Friday. Also, always keep your learning materials in a safe place for you will need this in your succeeding lessons. That is all for today, children. I hope you learned much from our lesson. See you again tomorrow on the here at DWND FM 88.5, CMD Cable Vision and Facebook Live is streaming. This is your teacher, Mom Jacqueline, saying thank you for watching and listening. Good day everyone and God bless us all.